That's two wheel drive. Sounds like four. That's four wheel drive. Hello fellow Jeepers, this is Jay Pett, your action reporter for the CJ2APage.com and member of the CJ2APage research and development team. Today, we're experimenting with siping tires. Earlier I did a test, I ran up a hill just with regular NDTs, but these here, I've, I threw some sawdust in there so you could see the sipes and I did this just with a regular box knife. I set the depth to 3 eighths of an inch. And I really only cut about a quarter. I just, careful, I timed it. It took me five minutes to do this tire. Um, so like here, you, you can't even, well it's dark, but you can't even see them. But let me see if I rotate this tire around. Yeah, I don't know. They're hardly visible. But basically, I just took my knife and I cut, cut, cut. Or actually, I did it like this where I could put my hand behind the tire to pull. And I pull, 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 pull. And I left about a three eighths of an inch gap. Kind of like what Bob Westerman did. So, anyway. Let's see if they makes a difference in the snow. Uh, stand by for news. Jay Pet here again. What I did, I'm trying to climb this hill in two wheel drive open. And I've left my tire pressure at 30 PSI. I mean, normally I would air my tires down some but I wanted to really just see what difference the siping made compared to just uh, non-siped standard. Well, these are 716 NDTs, they are the Firestones, so. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, look at that. Just walking right up there. That's. That's in uh, two-wheel drive. Wow. Opinion. It is a little better, but we'll discuss it later on in the forum. So for the CJ2APage.com, this is JPEG reporting.